we are going to Whipsnade Zoo today and we've got some very special guests. We've got gorgeous Astrid. So we've got Riley and Astrid and Asa and Ed and Tiffany have come down for the weekend. So we're heading out to Whipsnade to see some animals. You want to see the giraffes, don't you Astrid? You like the giraffes? <laughs> I want to see the penguins. Riley, what will Riley want to see? Lions. Riley wants to see the lions. Asa wants to see the cheeky monkeys. And what will mommy and daddy want to see? All of them. What do you want to see, Joe? Elephant. Elephant. And Max, we'll see what Max wants to see because it's the first time he's been to a zoo. I'm not normally a fan of zoos, but I'm, I'm thinking this one's quite a nice one. And as long as they're in kind of, you know, as natural a habitat or, you know, natural, you know what I mean? Like, no, make a Yeah, as long as they're looked after, then that's all right. So, anyway, we shall take you with us and, yeah, have a fun day. Bye! You know how it goes for all. We're looking yeah. at the European lynx. Let's show you now. <laughs> Riley's trying to throw snow at us. <laughs> you, stop it. Right, let's have a look. <laughs>
Okay, hold him tight. Don't let go of him. Ah! Hey. Hi, guys. So, Ed and Tiffany and kids have gotten home now. Um, it's really funny. Joe always says that on the morning that they go or we leave theirs, he says, you always get a bit funny, you get a bit narky. He goes, I think it's because... I've realised that it's when you're leaving them or they're going that you get a bit like stroppy. <laughs> and I think it is true because I just I just love them so much and we have such fun and yeah I just get I get really funny if I don't see them you know <clears throat> every few months or so. So yeah, I <laughs> had a bit of a strop on because <laughs> they left. Um, but we had such a lovely day. We went sledging because it snowed overnight, as you will know. I think I think most people got snow, didn't they? Even if it was just a little sprinkling. So um, it was really fun, and we got to use Max's new sledge that Marie got him, and he loved it. And Asa loved it, and they just had such fun. <laughs> Sat together in the sledge, and we were pulling them round and. Yeah, it was fab, and Riley and Astrid got to go downhill. Not a great big one, and there wasn't loads of snow, but um, you know, we all had fun, and uh, and yeah, it was such a lovely weekend. And so I hope you like the little montage video that I did, it kind of captured some some lovely moments. And Whipsnade was so much fun, and we were really lucky because our friend kindly gave us free tickets uh, into Whipsnade, um, which was just so lovely of her and it was such a fab day we actually could have stayed there longer and I don't well we didn't I know we didn't we didn't get to see all of the um the zoo and all of the animals um but it was so cold it was freezing so we thought it would be such a lovely thing to do in the summertime or even the springtime when it's a bit warmer and you can just you know literally spend all day take a picnic and walk around so yeah highly recommend Whipsnade and I am not a fan of zoos at all um, I remember going to London Zoo when I was a child and just being scarred for life but this was really lovely because it there were loads of open spaces the monkeys who were quite terrifying actually they were really quite scary and very aggressive which I kind of understand why oh Maxwell um, <laughs> every time uh, they you know had loads of ropes and trees and the indoor outdoor areas um, the elephants kind of got walked around a lot and had big open spaces and then we watched them um, at feeding time which was really interesting and uh, yeah I felt I don't know I felt really with the elephants I felt like I'm not going to say I had a connection, but I was fascinated by them, and I think they're such beautiful, calm, gracious animals, and I've never actually thought that before, so I've got this newfound love for for elephants, and they're so clever, and the hay was up in the, which you'll have seen, the hay was up in the, um, uh, what are they going to be called, I don't know, like hanging up, not in these kind of bars and then the elephant's trunk would um, twist in and twist the hay and pull it down. It was just really clever, really clever. Um, so yeah, saw lots of great things and had a brilliant day and then had a lovely meal out uh, at Strada on the on the Saturday evening. And then when all the babies and children were in bed, we played this fun game on our iPhone uh, it's called Heads Up, so it's basically like charades, but you put it on your head and everyone has to guess. And yeah, we had a good couple of hours playing that, so it was, it was really good fun. So yeah, you should get it on your iPhone if you if you fancy a fun game with friends. So a uh, wonderful weekend, and um, so lovely to see uh, Asa and Max um, playing together now. Now that Max is walking around, it's really interesting to see them kind of interacting together and. And yeah, just just watching them. So I know the next time, which probably in you know another couple of months or so, you know Max will be a little bit further on. And so it, it's just so nice to see them growing up together, basically. And Riley and Astrid obviously love love Max as well, and always you know include him and stuff. So I love them all so much. <laughs> so uh, yeah, lovely weekend. Anyway, enjoy the week. We're off to Tenerife on Friday. <gasps> I won't rub in too much, I promise.
See you soon. Bye.